Well, hello, uh, radio fans. It's Bob in one KPR. And once again, we have another uh, AM broadcast uh, monitor we've been playing with. In fact, this particular unit is uh, AM, FM, and weather band. And it's kind of a mod. It's an adaptation of uh, the studio EAS emergency uh, alert system uh, switchover units that's used in broadcast stations to uh, decode and switch their transmitters and the audio feed for emergency uh, broadcasts from NOAA or the National Weather Service. I got this unit and uh, decided it was such a good receiver that I was just going to take out the set and forget frequencies that were in here with screwdriver and just uh, BCD switches and I put in some uh, odometer type push button uh, switches so that it's uh, more user friendly. Uh, this unit has uh, some activity lights on it to indicate that the, in the three bands that you're receiving uh, the, the D-Mod audio at significant level above uh, the uh, noise floor so here you can see the AM signal, FM signal, National Weather Service coming in. Uh, let me just do some of the audio here. The green light on top of each will indicate which band is operative. Ripped a double. Uh, here's AM. Chavez ripped a line drive, caught yeah, in We got a, a local, a uh, local right Yankee right game right going. On uh, we'll switch over to FM. And, uh, there's some music. Very nice quality, actually. And then finally, the National Weather Service. And now for some observations for the remainder Over of here. So, as you can see, it's uh, it's professional quality. I, I couldn't turn it down for converting it over to uh, home use, or uh, in this case, it'll go into the ham. The ham radio station at the club, probably, and, uh, and it'll be used for uh, Aries work, uh, amateur radio emergency service, uh, listening to the emergency broadcast as they're issued. Um, I, we also have a monitor speaker internally. Let's see, you, I don't know if you hear the quality here. This is external. You're not going to go away, the Orioles. And now we go to the internal. It's not very good quality, but it's certainly listenable, and it's uh, strictly a voice range speaker, which is all you need for uh, monitoring the weather surface. I'm going to shut the power off so that you get a look at the meters. Uh, these are backlit meters, so they don't photograph very well. Here they are off with signal strength and volume units. This determines the drive level, which is fed from this control to feed external sources. Originally, it was intended to feed the uh, uh, the broadcast transmitter, but in our case, we're just going to feed an external audio system so that we have some uh, nice quality audio to listen to, uh, you know, a typical mono type uh, hi-fi system. Um, there is a an indicator here, it's actually yellow, it's not showing up so well. It shows that we do have mains power. In the case of an emergency, we would be running on uh, generator power or batteries, and this light would indicate that we do, in fact, have power to the system. And, of course, the red light tells us we're operating. So, there you have it. Power, audio, feed gain, monitor volume. Band select, AM with indicators for D mod and operation, FM, and the seven weather channel. Well, that's uh, that's about it. Just another uh, <laughs> another broadcast uh, band uh, receiver here in the uh, collection. Hopefully, we can put it to uh, some good service uh, with the emergency. Uh, the amateur yeah, Radio Emergency four, Service. Times, Anyhow, thanks for really watching. It's Bob in one KPR. We'll see you again soon. Well, oops. I forgot to mention 
uh, that this thing started life as a uh, TFT, Tango Foxtrot Tango Company. Uh, it's a Model 930 that they sell. If you're online, take a look at TFT. Uh, take a look at their website and uh, look for the EAS 930, 930, which uh, will give you a good idea of their uh, their product line and what these devices do. You can also take a look at my website. It's uh, at my website, Bob's America, one word, Bob's America, and uh, take a look there, and it's listed. Uh, the link is EAS Receiver. And there's a lot of photos of how this thing was built, all the various stages of making up the meter faces and assembling the front panel, which is the bulk of all the modifications, and finally putting the thing together and testing it out, which I do. Uh, I have been doing every every night for the last three nights uh, after gray line. Once the gray line passes after dark and the AM reception comes up, and we're just kind of ringing it out to see how good it's... Uh, DX qualities are. So, again, it's uh, Bob and one KPR. Thanks for taking a look.